Hey guys, welcome to episode four of the Chaplain's Vlog. Check out a new amphitheater. Let's go take a look at some of your videos from across the week. Hey everybody, this week I have been baking cookies, so here's my top tips. My first baking tip is don't overcrowd your tray. It's so tempting because you want to make so many cookies all at once, but if you put them too close together, they will smush together and you will just have one giant cookie. My second tip is keep some chopped up chocolate or chocolate chips and just stab them into the top of your cookie dough before they go into the oven. You will find that it will make these delicious little puddles of chocolate on the top. Delicious. Hey, it's Mr. What's Cooking here with uh, some cooking tips for you at home. Let's do it. When chopping, no grip with a wet cloth, simply just underneath your board, she'll never move. To avoid crying when cutting onions, simply chew gum. When dicing an onion, simply cut, half, peel. We're keeping this hairy part attached, we cut through, through, not all the way through, down, keeping it all attached. Perfectly diced onion. That's another cooking tip for you at home, here with Mr. White's cooking. Yeah, boy. So I'm baking it during quarantine in the kitchen at a ta ta ta. It's actually quite nice. Hey everyone, we really do miss you and we haven't seen you for a while physically, but I'm glad today I get to be able to talk to you through the screen. I want to just leave this little nugget with you. It comes from the Bible. It's in the book called Galatians chapter 6 verse 9. And here's what Paul says, never get tired of helping others. That's pretty good advice, isn't it? Even during this time, there are lots of people that need help. And maybe they just need help by lifting their spirits from a text from you. Just a simple text that says, we're here for you, or a little prayer in that text. Whatever it be, don't give up on helping others. Well, we can't wait to see you when you return to school. But until then, keep well, keep safe, and keep your distance. God bless you. There's some dishes that are freakish Frankenstein disasters. And quite frankly, that. is disgusting. Disgustingly good. <laughs> I've destroyed that because I don't want any of these guys over there to taste it because that is absolutely brilliant and inspired. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs>